vlogging it. It's one o'clock. It's Saturday. Today has just been very weird. I'll explain why. Not in a bad way, but um, if you have like a baby or a toddler, you probably relate to the fact that when things are not, oh, when things are not like going to normal schedule, the whole day just feels a little bit weird. And that happened because, oh, hello. James woke up at 3.40 in the morning and he rolled over because he still sleeps with us. He rolled over to me and goes, mommy up. And I was like, I looked at the time. I'm like, James, it is not time to get up. It's way too early in the morning. Go back to sleep. And then he kept saying, mommy up, mommy up. And I swear he was just rolling around in bed till like 6.30. And finally I was like, okay, James, uh, you can get up and go play with your trains because his room is connected to our room. I was like, you can go play with your trains, but mommy's not getting up yet. Then he got back in bed at like 7.30 and went back to sleep till 10.30, which is just... It's just not the norm. I was very shook by that. Marcus has a pickleball tournament today that he's playing in with his dad. So Marcus left kind of early this morning. They're playing a tournament in Nashville. So I think later today I might go and watch them if I'm able to. Also, my parents have been out of town for the past few weeks. So today they wanted to watch James. So I went and dropped him off at their house. So that's where he is now. Played in a little blow up pool that my dad got for him. Um, Dolly, do you want to say hello to the peeps? She is a woman. She's a big girl. Also, I've never tried this uh, refi primer, but I've seen so many people talk about it. I tried it for the first time today. Looks good. I like the applicator, how you roll it on you. Also, I self tanned last night for the first time in so long, literally in months. And when I used to live in LA, I swear I would self tan religiously every single week. Like you would not catch me dead without self tanner on. And ever since, honestly, since the accident, I've lost all motivation to self tan. I don't know what happened to me. I'm just like, uh, it's just such a thing. I feel like I'm just like, but then every time I do it, I remember why I love it so much because it really just makes you feel like a brand new person. I use um, Loving Tan Ultra Dark. Usually uh, I use the two hour express and then I sleep in it. So that's my hack for you. Oh, hey Dolly. Okay, can I just be honest with you guys for a second? I have been in a rut mentally the past few weeks. I feel like I kind of started to get out of it and then the rut came back. I just feel really unmotivated, uninspired, <laughs> um, all around just kind of bleh. And I feel like everybody who has a job that you kind of have to be creative or like doing things online, creating content, it's easy to get in these ruts, especially when you've been doing it for so long. Like, hello, I've been doing this for nine years now. Um, and I do get unmotivated sometimes. I do just sometimes feel like, oh, does anyone care anymore? One second, I gotta go get my blush. That's also a reason why I self tanned last night because do you ever go through seasons where you're just not loving the way that you look, which is so vain and unimportant, but there are just some times where I just need to like refresh my appearance and just take a little bit of time for self care. So last night I self tanned, I whitened my teeth, I had a nice long shower, I did a hair mask, which I never do. So maybe that's what I needed to just revive my soul a little bit. Also, I love my job and I want to continue doing social media so sometimes it really is just having a little reset and getting back to it that's all you need if you're ever curious what mascara i'm using it's always this one from l'oreal the lash paradise i feel like this is the best mascara ever okay, let's try these because look what came in my mailbox yesterday it felt like old times because i never get any makeup PR anymore because it all still gets sent to our old house in LA and 
it's hard to get PR companies to change shipping addresses, obviously. So uh, I feel like I never get makeup anymore. Uh, so I was very excited to open this because it's from YSL and I was like, oh, are you joking me? Look how beautiful these lipsticks are. I remember when I was like probably 13, I saved up all my money and I bought a really light pink nude YSL lipstick. And I never even used it because I never wanted to mess it up. But wow, these look so pretty. You do a little swatchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, glorious. Okay, let's try this one. This is in the shade 15. This is like a very thick balm, so you don't want to press too hard, but I love that color. Okay, and the perfume I've been loving is from Le Labo. Oh, this is such a good perfume. It's Santal 33, which I feel like everybody knows and loves, but I got this in Austin when we were visiting Stevie and Saz, and it says, compounded in Austin by James, the guy who labeled this for me. His name was James, so I think this is a very special perfume. This is what I've been wearing lately. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And here's the dress that I'm wearing. I got it a year ago from Madewell I think but it's just a really nice gauzy like beachy vibe I love the button down love the little slits on the side it's very cute and I'll probably just throw on my Birkenstocks so yeah that's the look okay I officially have our game plan we're gonna go grab a coffee at this little coffee shop in East Nashville called Elegy and it's right by the antique store I wanted to go to and then I'm gonna go to the pickleball place where they're doing the tournaments so I have a life hack for you this is what I've been doing lately because I'm very basic I turn on the era's Taylor Swift set list if I have kind of a long drive it's just a vibe and I will forever kick myself for not going to the Eras tour in Nashville. Why? Why did I miss that opportunity? I might just have to go to another state and see it. It's just so iconic. So anyways, let's go. Okay, we made it to the coffee shop. I keep looking in the viewfinder and feeling like I look just like my mom. And I don't know if it's because she always borrows this dress and wears it, or maybe I'm just getting older and looking like my mom. I don't know, but it's kind of like freaking me out. Um, I'm not gonna pay for parking because I'm gonna be in there for two seconds. So um, we're running the risk together, okay guys? Let's pray I do not get a parking ticket. I got an iced vanilla latte with oat milk, so let's try it. Very good, very, very good. They didn't put very much ice in here, and it's like 90 degrees today, so I better drink this quick. Okay, we made it to, oh my gosh, I kind of forgot what this place is called. I think it's called like East Nashville Antiques and Thrifting. Wait, wait. East Nashville Antiques and Vintage. So I've never been here. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm very excited because it looks huge online and that's what I like. I feel like when a vintage store is really small and curated, that's when it's all so expensive. So I like when they're a little like junky because then you can find the real treasures. Hot outside and I was just in there for like probably an hour. Actually a very cool vintage antique shop. Found this cool, um, North Face t-shirt for Marcus. It's super soft. I also got this little half apron skirt. Um, it looks like this. And this was only $8. I just thought it was really cute. Also got this beautiful vase. The details are so good. A little flower. Can you imagine just the cutest bouquet of flowers in here? I think this was $12. So you guys can hear me. I'll turn that down just for a second, but I really need it. Um, I also found this old croc. I've been looking for something like this for a while, but they're usually so expensive. Like this would normally be like $80 at an antique store. So I picked it up and this was $20. I love the color. I actually have a few that I was like gonna spray paint black cause I wanted like a darker color one, but I found this one. I also got this for Marcus for his shed. Um, he loves the Florida Marlins and he loves 
stuff like this. So I picked that up for him. This is one of the things I'm so excited about. This like scalloped brass tray. This would look so pretty in a bathroom with your soap on it. Oh, I think this is, yeah, the really cute things I got, James. These old um, little Donald Duck, Donald Duck on a train. And then also this character that I don't know its name little helicopter. James is very into helicopters right now, or I guess this isn't a helicopter. It's just, I don't know, a propeller plane. But James doesn't even know what Mickey Mouse is, but maybe I'll show him. I also got some good frames. Um, I got this one, which I loved the thin gold, and I have a bunch of prints, so I needed to find some good empty frames. And I love this one. Got this brass double frame. Again, I thought this would be cool to hang, but you know, of course you can put it sitting like that. Another one of my favorite things, this brass like leaf thing. They had brass for such a good price. That's one thing that you should check out when you're, what is my hair doing? That's one thing you should look for when you're at a vintage shop is good priced brass things. Just a beautiful brass candlestick. Um, I love the detail at the bottom, and this one, you actually stick it through the little pointy thing. So that's my little thrift haul. I'm debating whether or not I should even go try to see Marcus play at this tournament because they haven't even played yet. It's already 4 o'clock, and he doesn't know when they're going to play. It would mean a lot to him if I just even just showed up, but oh, parking in downtown is such a nightmare. So I don't really know what to do. I also need to get food. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure this out. Okay, it's the next day. We're all ready for church, but I have to go let the chickens out before we leave, and we're already running late. But these chickens gotta get out of their coop for the morning so it's just farm life things you know Marcus installed this automatic chicken door but it's kind of untrustworthy so we actually just unplug it chickens <coughs> come on chickens oh hi little yellow oh there's our rooster come on look how big they're getting good morning chickens Good morning guys and welcome back to the Johns vlog. I'm your host, Marcus Johns. That would actually be a good one. Why? Like you would be a good host of a Just channel. Just like that? Hey guys, welcome back and I'm Marcus Johns. But not such a high voice. This is my voice, what are you talking about? We're on our way to church. I just wanted to give them the update of how you did at Pickleball. Just like the brief synopsis. Me and my dad combined were the worst people there. Well, anyways, everyone was kind of like, alright, we're going to take it easy on Marcus and his dad. But yet, we we beat one of the better teams there, and it was like a huge upset. And then after, it just kind of fizzled, but we were like, if we can win one game and just get people to be like, put respect on me and dad's name, and that's exactly what happened. And so you'll we did always great. have a memory forever of you and your dad playing. Oh yeah. I've also squeaked in the time to make my coffee to go this morning. You wanna give it a taste? It's a cinnamon special. Cinnamon maple syrup. And Shelby and your mom brought me coffee beans from New Zealand, and they're my new favorite, and I'm gonna be so sad when they're gone. Really? Yeah. Nate's birthday's on Thursday. No, we're gonna get him for his present. What? My pickleball paddle. <gasps> Good one. Link, hold on. Link in bio. Cinnamon. Oh, Oops. actually, oh. I do wanna shout this out. Marcus's friend in LA made a new pickleball paddle. And when I tell you I have never played better in my entire life it's than fire. with this paddle, if you are looking to get an amazing pickleball paddle that you're kind of like unique and no one really knows about, and people are going to be like, ooh, what's that paddle? And then you're going to be like, jeez, you're paddle. playing really good. It's just got the touch and the pop like you've never seen. And guess what, guys? So I'm good. an influencer now because I got my own code. 10% off Senox paddles. Use your coupon code MARCUS10. This and isn't even a brand deal, but it kind of is now. And if you want to support a small business, because a That's lot right. of these pickleball companies yep. are huge, yep. 
I'm just saying, if you're a pickleballer. Yep. We just got home from church. Marcus just left to go to the gym. I put James down, then I'll probably go to the gym when Marcus gets back. But I'm just doing a few little chores around the house and I'm filling up Dolly's food. And we've been using this Purina Live Clear kitten food. Apparently this is supposed to get rid of like the allergens that cats give off because Marcus is allergic to Dolly. So I'm just trying to do everything I can to try to make it not so bad for him. I really want this to be a little bit more organized, but I have like all of her stuff up here and in this basket. And then these are her litter box liners. And then I just have a bunch of other stuff in here. I have some brand deal stuff, some mail I need to send out, cupcake holders, a Stanley that I'm giving away, and some decorations, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's Dolly's little section up there. Hello, it is the next day. I'm about to head to the gym. James is down for his nap and it's a beautiful day outside. Look at the little chicken coop out there. <laughs> but this set is from Set Active. They have some of the cutest colors of workout sets. So I love this red color. I'm wearing my New Balance. I think I am actually gonna end the vlog here because I wanna edit this today. Hopefully get it posted today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.